Hi, welcome back to the shop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the plastic extruder tension arm with this metal one on your artillery Hornet. This is a necessary upgrade as the plastic one is going to break at some time. Fear not, brave beginners, for this is a simple quest. And I shall guide you through as you proceed along your journey. So let's get started. Cut. Nerd. You liked it. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to need a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, some needle nose pliers, and a Titan extruder metal tension arm kit. Link in the video description. First, unload any filament you may have in your printer. Then power off the machine. Remove the extruder cable from the hot end and extruder. Now remove the screws holding the extruder face plate on. Make sure to note which screw comes out of each hole, as they are not all the same length. I like to lay them down in the same arrangement as they came out, so I don't forget. Next, gently remove the faceplate and set it aside. Then remove the filament guide tube. Now wiggle the old lever arm out, making sure to hold on to the tension screw to prevent it from falling off and getting lost. The lever arm bearing will most likely be left on the stepper motor shaft. You will need to remove it. It may be stuck on there pretty good and can be tricky to remove. Use a small flathead screwdriver to pry it off, stepping up to size if need be until it is out far enough that you can get the tip of your pliers under the bearing and finish it off the rest of the way. You may need to turn the motor a few times during the process as it may get pushed crooked on its way out. Here's the old tension arm. As you can see, it has already begun to break and this machine doesn't have a whole lot of printing time on it, about 100 hours or so. Most of these kits come with extra springs. We may need to use one, so put them somewhere safe. We will be switching the old guide bearing to the new part. You can see that it has a round groove cut into it, and this tends to do a better job at keeping the filament properly aligned on the hob gear. Use your Allen wrench to push out the pin holding the old bearing in. On the new part, the bearing is held in with a small screw. Remove it, swap the bearing, and screw it back in. Make sure to clean any debris that may be on the old bearing. If the old spring does not fit onto the new part, use one of the springs that came with the kit. Any one of them will do. The new part will come with a new motor shaft bearing pre-installed. Hold the tension screw and lever arm together while installing them into the extruder. Make sure the ring on the screw fits into the groove in the extruder body. If it's installed with the ring on the outside of the body, it will not be able to apply tension to the lever arm. Now you can fit the faceplate back on and fasten the screws. I recommend leaving out the screw that goes through the hob gear. This is an unnecessary screw and will cause premature wear on the hob gear bearings. Most other Titan and Titan clone extruders don't even have the screw as an option. Next, reinstall the filament guide tube. Extra credit for replacing it with some Capricorn tubing. Then reinstall the extruder cable. Now it's time to load up some filament and adjust the tension. Start with the tension at its most loose setting by turning the screw fully clockwise. Manually feed the filament until it stops. Ensure your build plate is clean and properly trimmed, then start a test print. When it starts printing, adjust the tension by pinching the filament with moderate force with one hand and turning the tension screw counterclockwise slowly until you can no longer stop the filament from feeding. Congratulations, you've completed your quest. Please take this skill point and apply it to your modding tab in your character profile. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Anyways, if you liked this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Ethereal Project 3D, where I post about current and ongoing projects. And as always, thanks for watching and happy 3D printing.